Hello, my name is the legendary Zoltan. Here are 20 objectively well done aspects of Valkyrie Elysium. If you think positive videos like this are boring, then why don't you check out one of my other videos that I made about this game. There is one called 30 Objective Flaws in Valkyrie Elysium and another one called Valkyrie Profile vs. Valkyrie Re Elysium. Which is better? Links to those videos are in the description. Check them out later. For now, let's get positive. Number one. The music in general is very effective, beautiful, and professional. The operatic vocals are especially effective at adding a flavor of epicness to every scene. Number two. The transition into the battle music is completely non-intrusive because it fades the battle music in and the battle music is an alternate version of the area music. Defiled soul, you shall be free. Bring me victory. Number three, when an Einherjar touches Maria's hand, the music swells up perfectly every time. Number four, evaluation rewards avoiding damage and using a variety of abilities above all else. Perfect. Number five, the second stagger takes a lot more hits than the first one. Good balance. Number six, there are multiple ways to get the upper hand on difficult enemies using their elemental weakness, their weapon weakness, cutting off a body part, and elemental breaking them. Number seven, there is a lot of challenge to enjoy in this game. S-ranking missions, difficult bosses, and hard mode. Number eight, you can jump onto and off of most structures and barriers. It adds to the sense of freedom. Number nine, all of the Einherjar recruit conversations are exquisitely dramatic. Earlier Einherjar help convince later ones to join. These scenes are great character interaction moments. Number 10, if you stand still for a bit, your Arn Harriar start conversing. Number 11, the layout of the areas and the way the buildings are connected is all very interesting. That is actually the best part of exploration. Number 12, you can open the menu mid-battle. That's useful for changing your equipped swords and spells. Number 13, the placement of the hollow blossoms is used to lead you to treasure chests. Number 14, enemy weaknesses are listed in the bestiary. Number 15, the houses in the village are decorated with shields that look appropriately Nordic. Number 16, despite how short the game is, the character arc of Valkyrie becoming more and more open to the wants and needs of her human companions is very believable and not rushed at all. I still remember the first time Valkyrie smiled. The entire game is dedicated to pretty much only that until the final chapter where all the plot reveals happen. Number 17, the short length of subquests make them appealing after each of the hour-long main quests. Number 18, every weapon has the same button combinations, which makes them easy to learn. Number 19, you can win even if you use non-optimal strategies, so you have some options. 
I was all about the lightning bolt because it hits all enemies. So whenever there were four or more enemies and they had different elemental weaknesses, I would just send out Egon, equip my weapon that has magic boosting runes, and lightning bolt two everyone to death. Number 20, you can see the rewards and the available drop items before going on any quest. Thank you so much for watching. If you had a good time, hit the like button on your way out. Coming up next on this channel is a conversation with my co-host Mel, who just recently finished Xenogears for the first time. I'm looking forward to finding out just how much his mind was blown. After that, we'll be making some Star Ocean 6 videos. If that all sounds appealing to you, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss it. I'll see you in the comments section. This has been the Legendary Zoltan.